do you think pins or brooches as they're also called is something that is passe and should be just relegated to your grandmother's jewelry drawer hi i'm karen dorland owner of image connections i'm a fashion and image consultant and i'm actually quite happy to see more and more women sporting pins on their clothing these days so today i'd like to share with you a few tips on how to wear a pin or a brooch. Yes, there's even some guidelines around that. Kind of some fun ones too that you can experiment with. Now, when I was younger, I was always told to wear a pin on my left hand side or a corsage. And that's because pins were often given as a love token or jewelry, you know, given as a token of love. And women wore them on the left side over their heart. Well then, we move forward in time. Women are in business much more. We're out networking, meeting people. And when you extend that arm in greeting, the eye travels up the arm to here and to the face. And if you are a regular follower of mine, you've heard me say over and over again, you want to bring the focus up to the face. And that's what happens when you wear pins on the right hand side. Something fun to experiment with is wearing your name label over on the left at your next network meeting. So then when you meet someone, you're greeting them and you'll see the eye travel up and then zip over to the left to read your name tag and back over to the side and up to the face. Something that just ah, kind of puts me over the edge is when I'm at grocery stores or you know other places where you're buying things and the salespeople are wearing a name badge. Women in particular tend to wear it way down here over the bust area. Not what you're looking to do. You want to raise it up and put it near your shoulder. So remember your name tags and labels should be up on the right hand side near your shoulder as well. There are many kinds of different pins to choose from too. That could be very casual and you know, at this time of year, which is in the Christmas season, many people wear ornamental ones, like, or seasonal, I guess you could call it, like a fun pin like this. I really prefer something a little more elegant. And speaking of elegant, something like this pin, that is black Swarovski crystal, is very nice to wear for dressy occasions. You could put it on your dress or the jacket or even pin it on your uh, pashmina or wrap. It would look really, really nice. You can get other ones that might be in sort of a theme. This would do very nicely for well, a country sort of look if you wanted that. I really like it with the turquoise in the middle. And another type of pin I've been enjoying is one that has a magnetic back. What's great about this is it doesn't pierce your fabric. And I really, really like wearing a pin with my scarf and I'll show you how that works right now. So you just put your scarf on. I'm going to use my magnetic pin. Put it here, stick the magnet on the back, and there, it holds it in place, gives a really nice focus. And if you're using a pin that does pierce through, it also holds your scarf in place. I'm here to help you decide what accessories really suit you. 
and I'm offering one-to-one -one Skype or Zoom sessions on how to accessorize. I get lots of questions, like what size of pin should I wear? What do I wear it with if I'm wearing necklaces or bracelets, things like that? Do I wear a pin too? And what kind of outfits do I wear them with? What colors do I wear? There are so many questions that women like to ask, and I'm here to help you. Also, in the new year, I'm offering online courses, workshops. So please visit my website at imageconnections.ca and sign up. I'm Karen Dorland, owner of Image Connections, connecting you to your accessorizing possibilities. Thank you for joining me. Continue to watch me on Facebook.